My name is Greg Cartwright and I'm 63 years old. Got into racing pigeons at about six or seven years old. Pigeon racing is a sport that's gone on since Roman and Greek times where a homing pigeon that has been bred over many generations will race competitively. It's actually like a, a, a race horse. He knows he's in a, in, a, in, a, in a race and he's racing to get home. It's a, it's a very simple sport, but it's been something that's been going on for a long time and was particularly used in World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. Unfortunately, I got into a really serious accident when I was 14. I wasn't able to care for my birds and I had to give them away. Went through high school and then, as life would have it, married and had kids. And it was only in the last three years that I decided to get back into the sport. And we've been racing competitively for three years and we've actually done very, very well. People absolutely underestimate the intelligence of pigeons, even at birth. It's an amazing process and as they get to know you, some will actually become quite trusting of you, will actually fly to you. They're an exceptionally intelligent bird, particularly when it comes to their homing abilities, their memory, their senses that allow them to fly faster and further than any bird in the world. I think the one thing that I enjoy most is breeding. I do a lot of research on the family, the pedigrees. We were one of the first uh, fanciers to test for genes in, in Canada, if not North America. And the feeling that I get after I have spent a lot of time carefully selecting a breeding pair and having them produce successively high-performing racing pitches is quite exciting because it's that planning and it's that research and preparation that results in that. It's not a fluke. It takes uh, a lot of time and a lot of study to ensure that the breeding will produce the best racers possible. And for me, I get the most satisfaction because it's something that uh, the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it.